This video explains how to fix your printer when you see a carriage jam error message on your computer or your printer's control panel. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If it does not turn off, you might have a paper jam. We will address paper jams in this video in a few minutes. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the home screen of the printer's control panel, touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup. Touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Do not remove jam paper at this time, but begin by removing any loose paper from the input or output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord. Remove the USB cable from the printer. Push in the two buttons on each side of the duplexer to remove it from the printer. Check the rear area for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the rear of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside, more paper jams are likely to occur. Next, let's check the duplexer for any jams. Squeeze the latch on the back of the duplexer and lower its cover. Remove any jam paper from inside the duplexer. Once all the paper has been removed, close the cover. Reinsert the duplexer into the back of the printer. If you cannot remove the paper jam from the back, we will attempt to remove the paper jam from the front. Turn to the front. Open the top cover. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the small pieces that might tear off. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper to prevent future paper jams. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path of the flashlight is probably the most important step in preventing future jams. Do not worry if the carriage is in the way on the right or left side. We will show you how to check that area later in this video. When you've removed the paper, close the top cover. Turn to the back again. Plug the power cord back in. Turn to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try to print a printer status report again to see if the issue is resolved. On the home screen of the printer's control panel, touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup. Touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. 
lift the top cover so that you can view the carriage. The carriage might try to move into the center of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. Turn to the back again. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord. Turn to the front. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it to the left, and then to the right, and then back to the left. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. If you find any obstructions while moving the carriage, remove them. While the carriage is on the left side, use a flashlight to check the far right of the inside of the printer for obstructions. Remove any paper or debris you may find. Searching inside the printer with a flashlight is probably the most important step in preventing future jams. Once all obstructions are removed, close the top cover of the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Reconnect the power cord. Turn to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn on the printer. Try to print a printer status report again to see if the issue is resolved. On the home screen of the printer's control panel, touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup. Touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, improper installation or placement of the cartridges or print head assembly can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we will fix this. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the top cover to expose the carriage. The carriage might try to move into the center of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. On the front of the cartridge, push the release tab inward to unlatch the cartridge. You can now remove the cartridge out of the carriage. Repeat for all cartridges. When removing the cartridges, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink ports. Be careful not to touch the contacts or ports because touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Once all cartridges are removed, you can lift the latch handle on the carriage. Lift the print head assembly out of the printer. Make sure that you do not leave the print head assembly or the cartridges out of the printer for longer than five minutes. Leaving them out for an extended period of time can dry up the ink ports on the cartridges or nozzles on the print head assembly. Check for obstructions under or around the carriage. If any obstructions are found, Remove them from the printer. Once all obstructions are removed, you can reinstall the print head assembly. Hold the print head assembly upright with the color coded icons on the top and lower it into the carriage. Carefully lower the latch handle on the carriage, making sure that it is fully closed. Reinstall the cartridges by placing the cartridge one at a time back into its color coded slot and gently push down until it snaps into place. Once again, repeat for all cartridges. Close the top cover of the printer. Try to print a printer status report again to see if the issue is resolved. On the home screen of the printer's control panel, touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup. Touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Go to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord. Then, disconnect the power cord from the power strip or surge protector it's plugged into. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. 
and then plug it back into the printer. Move back to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try to print a printer status report again to see if the issue is resolved. On the home screen of the printer's control panel, touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup. Touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. First, remove all the paper in the input tray. Turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, disconnect the power cord. Pull the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow the time for all the power to drain from the printer. Reinsert the power cord into the wall outlet. Then, plug the power cord back into the printer and go back to the front. If the printer does not turn on by itself, press the power button to turn it on. Try to print a printer status report again to see if the issue is resolved. On the home screen of the printer's control panel, touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup. Touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.